Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I want to share with you my top six tips on how to be healthier, to start a healthy lifestyle, and to start losing weight right now. These are not things like go and spend a ton of money on a, on a gym membership or a juicer and then just not eat anything but protein and vegetables. Of course, all of those things are great when you are an experienced person and you have somebody guiding you um, through a plan or you've, you've done your research and you want to get started, but these tips are actually for those of you that are not really sure where to start and you just want to do something and you just want to feel better and you just want to be healthier. These are those tips that you can do at any fitness level and these are little tricks that I have used myself just to kind of get myself moving you know feel a little bit better throughout the day so I hope that you guys like this video if you do please be sure to leave me a thumbs up it really helps on my channel also consider subscribing because I will have a ton of videos just like this one and a whole bunch of workouts that I will share with you every single week I, I've been posting at least two videos a week and I'm very proud of myself because I have wanted to do that as a goal so I plan to continue that and I hope that you guys will join me in this experience. Also make sure to hit that bell notification right next to the subscribe button so that you get a notification every time I post a new video and let's go ahead and get right into it. Tip number one is to only eat when you're sitting down. So I try to do this myself. I actually only eat when I'm sitting down before I would be cooking and I would be tasting things or I would be leaning up against the counter and I would eat something and then I would still be hungry so then I'd go and like find something else and I'd eat it while I was standing and just like hang out in the kitchen and just like you know talking to whoever is around and whatever and I realized after I kept a journal for myself of all of the things that I ate that I was consuming a lot of calories that were just like mindless calories and I was just you know in the kitchen talking and distracted and I was just eating so all of those calories counted towards my daily caloric intake and that wasn't helpful at all for my diet so tip number one is to only eat when you're sitting down that way you are mindful of what you're eating you're focused on what you're gonna eat and then you eat that and that's it and you don't have to worry about consuming excess calories for no reason or when you're distracted and when you can't even really enjoy the food that you're eating. Tip number two, I always mention this in any type of weight loss or tip um, video and the reason I do is because it's just so so important and it has changed my life dramatically because before I didn't do it at all and this is to drink water. Make sure that you're drinking water all day long. So. One of the biggest tips that I always tell people is get a nice cute water bottle, something that you like to carry around with you. Carry that around and put it on your desk and it will remind you to drink water out of it. It's a lot easier, I don't know why, to drink water out of a nice bottle, for me at least, but drink water all day long, you will feel a lot more satisfied throughout the day and a lot of times we are actually thirsty instead of hungry so water is key make sure to drink lots of water and stay well hydrated throughout the day and I promise that you will see weight loss you know and that comes with the water that you're retaining in your body because when you drink water you help eliminate some of that water that is being retained in your body tip number three do exercises between your TV show playing time. So if you're watching TV during the commercial, stand up and do a couple of jumping jacks or try to do push-ups or do squats on the couch. You sit on the couch and you stand back up without using your arms or hands to push you off of the couch. Do exercises during commercial breaks. Now, if you're like me and you don't actually watch regular TV and you're watching Netflix, then you can set a timer on your phone for every 20 to 30 minutes. When the timer goes off, take five minutes or maybe three, depending on what you want to do, and do an exercise for those five to three to five minutes, and that will help you start to lose weight. And it also keeps your activity level up because we spend so much of the day sitting that it's important to break that and stand up every once in a while and get your body moving and the blood flowing and that will also help with weight loss. Tip number four. This is one that I always recommend to people when they don't really know how to get started 
and that is to replace one meal in your day with a protein shake or a protein bar. So you can eat everything else the same, just replace one meal. And pretty much what you're doing is you're probably reducing your calories about two to 300, depending on what type of replacement you're using, what type of bar or protein shake you're using. Try to go for something that's lower in sugar. So maybe like one to three grams of sugar and high in protein. So by doing this, you're reducing your caloric intake for the day and therefore setting your body up to be ready to start a program that's going to already have a little bit more of a deficit. So it's kind of like a pre-diet or a pre-nutrition plan preparation. Tip number five, this is to remove sugary drinks. So things like Gatorade and soda and juice orange juice, cranberry juice, all of these are full of sugar. Make sure that you're not consuming your calories and your, the sugar content in fluid because a lot of times we can drink our calories and think that we haven't really ate much throughout the day, but yet we've had a really high amount of sugar. So remove all sugary drinks, drink diet soda or drink diet drinks preferably have water throughout the day but if you need something that has some flavor try to go for the diet option it may not be the necess necessarily the best option because of chemicals and all of that but it is far better for you than a ton of sugar you might as well be eating a candy bar if you're going to be drinking that type of stuff so try to eliminate that and i challenge you to try 30 full days of not drinking anything but either water or some type of diet option, diet tea, diet soda, all of those, instead of sugar-filled drinks and see how you feel, first of all, because you're going to not have the huge spikes um, in, your in, in your glucose insulin levels in your blood, but it will help you significantly with the energy level and it will also help with the weight loss. Um, how many times can, do we hear you stop drinking soda, you will drop a ton of weight. This is because a soda has a ton of sugar in it. And when you have an excess amount of any type of food group, sugar, you know, carbs turn into sugar, all of this process, we could discuss this in a later video. But when you have an excess in any type of uh, food group, you will store fat, even with protein. So something to keep in mind and we can talk about that at a different time. Let me know if you would like to see a video on that because I'd be more than happy to explain how all of that works. But yes, eliminate sugar-filled drink. Tip number six is to time your cleaning time. So I do this all the time. Um, I have a couple days a week where I'm at home by myself and what I do is I set my timer for 20 minutes and I will clean my house, pick everything up as fast as I can and I try to do it you know, with as much energy as possible because I want to burn a little bit of extra calories so I put the music on, I put the timer and I just go non-stop for 20 minutes and before I know it, it's 20 minutes have gone by and I've burned you know, a whole bunch of calories and I'm sweating maybe I'll take a little bit of a break and then I'll do it again if I'm not done but having the timed time for the home activities really helps me because even if I get it, I don't get a chance to get in a workout that day, I know that I want to make sure first that I have to clean the house so it's a chore that has to be done and second that I can get a little bit of exercise while I'm doing that. So that concludes this video. I hope that you guys like it. If you do like it, leave me a thumbs up. If you have any tips that you would like to share with me or anybody that watches this video, please leave them in the comments below and I will make sure to read all of them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.